Bronwyn Lace is the creator of some of the most fascinating and startling artwork to be seen in South Africa in recent years. Lace's work has become part of a magical world where art and physics merge and structure and form decompose to offer wondrous insights into life and death. I've become fascinated with the idea of death, not because it's morbid, but because it's inevitable and yet it's this thing that we almost can't fathom. Uh, we can't imagine the world without us in it. Um, and I think that a lot of the motivation for art making throughout history has been to leave something behind, to perpetuate particular thought and thinking. And so my language is art. Lace's creations have stirred much debate and amazement. She tells us that she's more content when working across mediums. As a visual artist, I'm interested in working across disciplines and across medium. I'm driven by a concept more than a relationship with a particular material. I'm interested in modes of thinking. I'm interested in the motivations behind why we create science as a discipline and continue to pursue knowledge. Lace often reflects the nature of order and chaos and reveals how both work in tangent. Bronwyn Lace's art is quite unique. A majority of her art also reveals that light is never certain. Light is a central component to all of her work. She elects to work with found, recycled and repurposed elements to build her installations. I have a long-term project called the Found Bodies Collection where um, I was collecting from pool filters and light fittings uh, insects and archiving them in my own studio, categorizing them according to their order and species, and then processing them uh, through prints, embossing their bodies into wet cotton rag paper. And as this project continued, um, those who know me and, and I think love me uh, in terms of family and friends, started collecting on my behalf. And I, I would receive these gifts from people who would say, I found this beetle, I found this spider, I found this um, cockroach. And so my collection grew. Uh, and in the end, I made uh, 120 individual works using the Found Bodies collection. Lace is currently the director of the Center for the Less Good Idea an interdisciplinary incubator space for the arts based in Maboneng, Johannesburg. Judith Sanjamela, CGTN, Johannesburg, South Africa.